Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I have no makeup on. I am fresh face, greased up, and beautiful. But I wanted to get on here and tell you guys um, first about a sale that's going on right now. And second, I wanted to just rant about luxury items right now. Not really rant, but just talk about why I'm not really purchasing luxury items right now. I talked about this briefly in a um, previous video, but in this video, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and talk about an experience that I had at a luxury store. And so, yeah, with all that being said, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So the first topic you guys I want to talk about is a luxury sale that's going on right now, which I think a lot of people have talked about it on their YouTube channels, on their Instagram. And if you don't know, 24S, which I believe is like 24 Sevre Sevre, I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys. It is a website that's owned by, I believe, a department store in Paris or in France and it, the whole, I guess you could say, base of it is owned by LVMH and they sell a whole bunch of different luxury brands. They also have, you know, Louis Vuitton and Celine on sale under their ultimate section, which sometimes you can get 10 to 15% off um, Louis Vuitton items, which is really nice, really cool. They usually have older, I would say overstock from previous seasons, maybe that weren't popular that got sent to them. I have no idea what the reason is behind it, you guys. But aside from that, they are having a major sale right now that includes a lot of luxury brands that usually do not go on sale. And it is a pretty decent um, price point. So I believe it's based on tiers. So if you spend like 200, you probably get like 15% off. If you spend 400, you probably get 20% um, off. And then if you probably spend like 450, I don't know the exact amount, you guys, you probably get 25% off. But the highest is 25% and it is for Burberry, for Zimmerman, for Chloe, for, I'm trying to think of what other brands I saw, Jack Moose, everything you guys. And so the thing that I picked up, which maybe I'll save it for later and do an unboxing of it because it's something that isn't really luxury, but it has a luxury price point in its category. I think that is an easy way to explain it. It was relatively expensive, but because it was 25% off and these things never go on sale for 25% off, I purchased one and I'm so excited to have it. So I will link everything down in the description below, also with the discount codes so you guys can check everything out. I'm no way affiliated or sponsored or anything with this brand. I wish I was. I just really like 24S and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it on <laughs> social media. I've been shopping with them for years now and I've never had an issue and they have really decent deals if you're willing to dig. And so yeah, the next topic, you guys, is going to be why I'm not purchasing luxury bags right now in my bad experience at one of the stores, y'all. <laughs> I am just not feeling luxury right now. I think what really pushed me towards this is when Louis Vuitton got rid of this, they took it off of their website, which I don't remember when it was. Um, it was when I bought it, it was a few weeks or like a month after I bought this, they completely took it off the website, remodeled it, and then pumped it back out into the Louis Vuitton world and put like a double, almost double price tag on it. I think when I purchased this, it was 300 something euros. And now I think this is like maybe 700 plus euros, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's that much. I saw the new one and I think they are almost identical in size. It has a little bit of a different um, inside interior and the sides are leather. And I just cannot see a justification in the price jump jack increase. For me, it just feels like a scam sometimes. And I think I've talked about this many times before on my channel, like no matter if it's luxury or non-luxury, if I feel like I'm getting scammed while I'm shopping, it really puts a bad taste in my mouth with the brand. And the thing is with luxury shopping, you're spending a little bit more money. And with that extra premium that you're paying, you expect a non-scam um, level of organization, professionalism, and I would say quality just in general. And I'll tell you guys a story of what happened to me at Louis Vuitton recently, a few weeks ago. I'd never talked about it, but now I'm going to because I feel like it pairs well with this video. I went to Louis Vuitton and I bought a perfume. I love 
Louis Vuitton perfumes, I've talked about this before, that I cannot find a dupe or an alternative that smells very similar to Louis Vuitton anywhere in the perfume world. I've looked for it everywhere, you guys, and I cannot find it. And I went to go purchase <laughs> a perfume and it wasn't at the store that I usually go to. It was at a store in a different city, so they didn't know me, I didn't know them, no big deal. I say, hey, can I have a perfume or I'm looking for a certain um, scent? I knew which one I wanted. It was very easy, probably two minutes max that this person had to communicate with me. They said, yeah, I'll go get it. The person was ready to just, well, give me your credit card right now. I'll pay, um, I'll go get it, put it in the bag, come out and give it to you. That was like all they literally wanted and did. And it felt like I was going through a McDonald's <laughs> um, like a drive-through. So then they give me the bag and I'm looking at it and it's crumpled, like it looked used. And I don't know if they are allowed to use used bags. I actually would not care if they did, but this one had like dents in it. The corner was like chipped off the, um, what is it? The rope on the handle looked like it was used, like it was frayed or something. And I'm looking at it like, okay, no big deal. Um, I'll just go out and leave the store. Maybe the person, they don't have any bags or the person was just in a hurry. N nothing's wrong with it. I go outside, I look inside and the plastic that's around the um, perfume box, you know, cause it comes in a box and then the little bottle that has the little thing on it. The plastic around that was like completely opened on the bottom, like someone already opened it, already used it. And I was like, what is this? Like, I expect this from one of those places when you go to the outlet mall and you buy, those people come and they're like, here, can I spray this on you? Can you give me this? Or do you wanna try out this perfume? I'll give you this sample, buy this. We have it for 80% off. That's the type of service I expect or the type of quality I expect in packaging from those types of stores, not from somewhere where you're buying a very expensive item. And I, I, I returned it and they were like, well, why did you return it? It's not used. And I'm like, it is used. Someone opened it and it wasn't me. I don't know what the people did beforehand. Why'd they return it? Why did you guys not um, close it properly? Why is the plastic all crumpled up? Why did the person put it in the bag like this? And then in the crumpled bag with the crumpled plastic, and then they put it in this humongous bag, this little tiny perfume that I purchased. And it was just like thrown in with no love. And it took two minutes. That's the thing, two minutes, 200, 300 bucks I spent easily and I get treated how I get treated at the McDonald's drive through It's just mind boggling to me. And this is something where I feel like now, um, when it comes to luxury shopping, it's becoming very transactional. I mean, it's always been transactional. They have to make money. Um, the sales associates have to make money, but it's supposed to be an experience. It's supposed to be a process. It's supposed to be something that is like, it's a story, it's a play, there's a plot. You walk in the store, you're greeted, you search, someone comes up to you, you talk, you tell them what you want. They say, oh, do you need help with this? Do you wanna check out this? Oh, try this sample. And then, oh, well here, let me get this for you. Let me put it in a bag for you. Thank you so much for shopping with us. I didn't even get a thank you for shopping with us. It was like, bye, literally, <laughs> that was it. Handed me it and said, bye. And I was like, okay, whatever, um, awesome. I would like a six piece chicken nugget with some sweet and sour sauce, please, and a medium Coke. I'm really not, um, it, how do you say, enjoying going in to luxury stores. I'm not enjoying the treatment that they give people. I'm not enjoying the horrible quality that is being produced, not even with like packaging and sales associates with their items as well. Everyone's putting out products that are made for social media and I'm not a social media woman. <laughs> maybe you guys are, maybe that's what makes money, but what do I look like carrying a bag that's this big that doesn't even fit my telephone in it or creating these collections that are literally the same. For me, the, what was it? Summer in the city or whatever the heck pastel summer Louis Vuitton put out looks so similar to the Stardust collection. And then the pastel collection looks 
very similar to the Stardust collection and the Summer in the City collection, they all look the same to me. And it's like, they're just putting out stuff, not even Louis Vuitton, everyone is just putting out stuff that can be used for a season, not even a few weeks, and then here comes the next item. And that's not what luxury is. I don't wanna feel like I'm shopping at H&M when I'm going to a store to spend 1,000 plus dollars. I can't be the only person that's like that. Maybe there are people that love these types of experiences, but I don't wanna also purchase something that I know is only gonna be useful or trendy for one period of time that will look aged after a year. I feel like a lot of people on social media are starting to um, feel this way as well. I think there are a lot of people that are just purchasing things just to stay relevant on social media instead of like talking about other topics. You know, their core is handbags or are handbags and handbag unboxings, luxury unboxings. And so they have to purchase things. They have to unbox things because that is what their channel is about. But for me, I'll come back in two months. I'll take a little break, come back in two months when I got a bag that I actually love and I actually wanna use. And I think people are slowly starting to realize how not stupid, but useless it is to continuously support a brand, whatever brand it may be, especially in luxury um, designer world, and for them to act like they don't care about you and for them to not be thankful that you are a customer and to give you mediocre when they are supposed to be the top tier. I think a lot of people are realizing that that's happening and they're tired of it. And I hope it stays like this because I'm hoping with the pressure that the base, you know, us peasants down here with us saying that we're not enjoying the luxury experience right now, that there will be a change or a shift in some way, shape or form. But I could be wrong and preaching to the choir, standing for my soapbox and nobody's listening to me, but that's how I'm feeling right now. So yeah, don't forget to check out 24S, you guys, if you're looking for certain items, especially staple um, pieces. They have Max Mara, they have Burberry on sale, a lot of like trench coats and jackets, which I think are amazing investments when it comes to luxury items. Um, don't forget to check them out. Get 15 to 25% off your shopping experience, your total, your grand total, your cart. And yeah, two topics that didn't go hand in hand. Um, but they're in the video together. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Love y'all, have a wonderful day and bye.